Okay, year two. This week we are going to learn a bit about the RNLI. I wonder if you have ever heard of the RNLI before? Have a look at the picture. Can you figure out what the RNLI is? You've probably spotted the boat coming down from the station into the water. And the boat is orange. And very often when you see a boat that's orange, it means it's part of the RNLI. And it's a lifeboat. RNLI stands for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. That's a big name. But you can just call them the lifeboats. Or if you want, you can call them the RNLI too. And this is something that I'm really, really interested in. And I used to be part of a lifeboat club as well. So this week I thought it would be lots of fun if we learnt some things about the lifeboats. So what is the RNLI? Well, it's a charity. And it helps people who are at sea. And it saves lives at sea. They have more than 300 lifeboats in the UK. And they work all the time. They never stop. Even at night time, they are still working to help save people at sea. There are lots and lots of different types of lifeboats that the RNLI use for different types of emergencies. This lifeboat is an all-weather lifeboat and it can go pretty far out to sea to help people who are stuck a bit further out. All weather lifeboats can travel at very high speeds and it's safe to use them in lots of different weather, even if it was really stormy. Sometimes if the lifeboat's out in really stormy weather, it can capsize. That means the lifeboat falls over on its side into the water. But the lifeboats are built in a really special way that if they fall over in the water, they just turn themselves back up again. That's amazing because the lifeboats are pretty big and they're pretty heavy. On a lifeboat like this one, you would have a crew of around six or seven people. There are also lifeboats called inshore lifeboats. And if you look at the picture, you can see that they're a lot smaller than the all-weather lifeboat. They're used nearer the shore where the water is shallower and they don't really go out into the deep water. You would see this lifeboat maybe near some cliffs or rocks or even in caves. They have a much smaller crew, maybe only two or four people on an inshore lifeboat. Let's have a think about the lifeboat crew. Before we talk about the lifeboat crew, I want you to look at the picture. Can you see the two lifeboat people in the picture? What are they wearing? Maybe you've spotted that they're wearing a helmet and that's to keep their head nice and safe if anything fell on them or if they bumped their head if they had to get into the water. You'll also see that they've got a big yellow jacket on and this is a really waterproof jacket. No water can get in through their jacket. And because it's yellow, it's nice and bright, so it helps them be seen if they're in the water. They've also got a red or orange life jacket on, and it says RNLI on it. And it's got silver reflective strips, so that they can be seen in the water or in the dark if they have to go out at night. Most RNLI crew members are volunteers. Do you know what the word volunteer means? Volunteers are people who give up their own time and they don't get paid for working on the lifeboats. Very often working on a lifeboat is dangerous and it's difficult because you're helping people who are stuck at sea. But these people give up their own time to do that. And there's lots of different important roles on a lifeboat crew. You might be a coxswain, you might be a mechanic, you might be a helm or a hovercraft commander, or you might be a crew member. Why do you think people 
would volunteer to help the lifeboat if they're not getting paid. What do you think? I'm sure you came up with some good ideas and maybe one of them was that they want to help people and I think you're right. The lifeboat crew want to help people and want to save people's lives. Let's have a closer look at some of the roles on a lifeboat crew. The coxswain is in charge of the all-weather lifeboat and the coxswain would be in charge of launching the lifeboat safely and for looking after the rest of their crew members and they must do everything that they can to rescue somebody in danger. You might be a mechanic. A mechanic is the person who maintains the lifeboat. They look after the engine and they look after all the machinery at the lifeboat station. When they're out at sea, it, the mechanic's job is to check that everything on the lifeboat is working. But the mechanic might also work as part of the crew and help to rescue people while they're on a lifeboat. The helm is a volunteer and they're responsible for the inshore lifeboat. Remember that's the smaller one that stays near the cliffs and the rocks. The helm looks after the inshore lifeboat while it launches and while it's out at sea. And they're in charge of making sure the lifeboat is always ready for its next rescue. And we have our crew members. These people are other volunteers and they make up the rest of the crew. Remember, on an all-weather lifeboat, you might have six or seven crew members and on an inshore lifeboat, you might have two or four. The crew members help the helm or the coxswain to operate the lifeboat during rescues. They have to get lots of training so that they can seal the boat or drive the boat really well and make sure that they're all their first aid skills are up to date so that they can help the people that they rescue from the sea. There's also a hovercraft commander who's in charge of a different boat, but we'll not worry about it for now. Which job would you think you would like to do if you worked on a lifeboat? I want you to have a think about that one. Maybe you could even make a poster for me or for Miss Wallace to show us which job you would like to do on a lifeboat. Here's some pictures of some of the lifeboat crew's kit. On the left you can see the helmets. Do you see them? The white circles. They're the helmets to keep their head nice and safe. And in the other picture, on the right, you can see the lifeboat um, safety jackets, the life jackets that the crew wear when they go on a rescue mission out to sea. There are some interesting facts that you can read or somebody at home can read to you if you would like to learn some more about the lifeboats. But now it's your turn. I've sent you a little activity about some of the dangers that there are near the sea and some of the things that the lifeboat crew would help you to do if you were stuck at sea. Have fun and I'll see you soon. Bye!